welcome to Coffee Break Blogging, where you'll learn to grow and monetize your blog in short, tactical installments you can use right away. Now here's the next episode in our series. Welcome back to another installment of Coffee Break Blogging, where this isn't just another podcast, it's a full course on building an online business based around blogging from scratch. My name is David Risley, and if you want to catch up with us from the beginning, head on over to coffeebreakblogging.com and view the ever-expanding archives of Coffee Break Blogging. Okay, so here we are. This is going to be the last episode of Coffee Break for the year 20. 15. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to kind of review where we've been and kind of where we're heading with this podcast, kind of give you a little bit of backstory, so to speak, especially if you've not been following us in order since the beginning of Coffee Break Blogging. Now, if you're not already aware, Coffee Break Blogging actually started out as a different podcast. It started out as something called The Blog Program, which is one of my more creative titles, I admit, The Blog Program, really original. Uh, Now, The Blog Program was very hit and miss. I mean, it was really all over the board in terms of schedule, in terms of topic. I did have some guests. I had, uh, you know, some guests that you guys would know, like uh, my man, Chris Ducker, um, had several others um, on the podcast. But the thing is, the podcast was very irregular. And for that reason, I kind of like started off with a big bang and then it kind of dropped off the radar because regularity is a very important thing when it comes to podcasting. And so later on in late 2014, I actually decided, listen, if I'm going to bother podcasting at all, I need to take this thing seriously. Uh, You know, I've been blogging as in written blogging for many, many years now, and that has never been a problem for me. So why, for the life of me, am I taking podcast less seriously? And so with that in mind, I said, okay, listen, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Okay. I also wasn't too particularly crazy about the blog program as a name. Okay. Um, So when I started brainstorming how I was going to bring this thing back, I had a few things in mind. First of all, I wanted to be a lot more regular about it, of course. Now, I realized that if I was going to be more regular about it, I needed to have a plan of action. Not only that, it would probably have been helpful if I made each episode a little bit shorter and not shoot for that 30-minute mark, so to speak. Okay, so that helped influence what is now called Coffee Break Blogging. The reason it was called Coffee Break Coffee Break, um, uh, is, you know, of, of course, many times, including right now, I'm actually got a cup of coffee in front of me when I'm recording it, so that always helps. But the other thing, too, is that Coffee Break is typically short. You know, we sit, we stop doing what we're doing and we have a little coffee break. And that was kind of the intention here is that you would be able to come in and whether you're having a real coffee break or not, you would have this short break. You could listen to an episode of Coffee Break Blogging, get some applicable thing, something you can immediately take away and go do something. And that was the idea. That was the idea. So that's what led to the name Coffee Break Blogging. The goal was to make each episode very applicable, something where you could listen to it and you would you would go off and do something. It wasn't as if I was going to give you an assignment. It was just that each episode was relevant. It was relevant. I specifically did not want to go out and do another interview style podcast because everybody does one. Everybody seems to think that, oh, I'm going to start a podcast and then I'm going to have guests on the podcast and we're going to chit chat. And then I'm going to get my expertise by association with my guest and they're going to help me promote my show. And then I'm going to get famous. And then I'm going to have a killer podcast and be just like John Lee Dumas at Entrepreneur on Fire. That's what everybody wants. And I specifically did not want to go in that direction. It isn't because it's an unworkable direction. It's specifically because everybody's trying to do it. Everybody's trying to copy my man, John Lee Dumas, and I am not interested in doing so. The other thing, too, is that my company here is called the Blog Marketing Academy. That word academy means that I teach. I'm a teacher, okay? Now, I also want to position myself 
as the expert. And I'm not even going to, you know, dilly daddle around this. When it comes to this particular topic, I am an expert. And so if I am the expert, not only that, I want my audience to look at me as the expert and come to my academy to learn how to do it. Why am I going to have a ton of guests on the show all the time and, and, and do it that way? It just didn't make any sense. And so with that in mind, I went toward the short form podcast. It was going to be primarily a solo show, which you will notice that this is. And we're going to go in a particular order. So... The, going back to the word academy, the word academy, you know, it speaks to education. It's like the idea of a course. Well, courses have a particular structure to them. Not only that, at the time, there, were, uh, there was a rise in what's called serial podcast. It was the idea of podcasts where it came out in episodic form. Each one was an episode, an installment, and an ongoing storyline. Um, and I was like, well, that's a really interesting idea, and it kind of really works well with what I am doing here with training, with the academy. And so one thing led to the next, and I decided I was going to do a solo podcast where each episode was going to be a little bit shorter than usual, although they've lengthened a little bit, um, and they're going to go in a particular order. And that order is what I call the roadmap. It's the seven stages document, which you can actually head on over to coffeebreakblogging.com and download this document for free. It's a seven-stage process of growing an online business from scratch. And that's exactly what we're doing here with Coffee Break Blogging, okay? So going back to October 29th, 2014, I did episode 30 of the blog program where I said what's coming up. I talked about the changes that we were going to be making. And then surely on November 4th, 2014, with episode 31, we moved officially into Coffee Break Blogging. We have not looked back. We started out with phase one, and we've been going through the seven stages ever since. Now, let's do a quick review of the seven stages here. Again, head on over to Coffee Break Blogging. Not only can you view the archives of the show, but you can also download your copy of the seven stages of building an online business. Stage one is foundation, where we're talking about identifying our market, identifying our niche, learning who our avatar is, who we're serving, and not only that, identifying our solution. Now, on the blog monetization model that I teach at the Blog Marketing Academy, this is coming up with our product market fit. That's essentially what this is, is coming up with product market fit. And in fact, I might actually make a few edits to the seven stages document uh, to reflect better the model that I'm teaching inside the lab. Uh, but a lot of it, it, it's just mainly a terminology shift there. All right, and then stage two is talking about our platform. This is where we're setting up the blog, getting our branding set up, logo, the various core pages, our pillar blog posts, setting up landing pages, internal linkage, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. All the stuff that's on your website. That's what we're starting to set up in stage two. Stage three, we immediately go into list building, building our email list. We're creating lead magnets and we're creating lead funnels and squeeze pages and email autoresponder sequences. This is all stuff that we've talked about here on Coffee Break Blogging when we were going through the episodes discussing stage three. Okay, so there's a lot back there. Again. Head on over to coffeebreakblogging.com to view the archives because there's a lot there. There's a little button there, by the way. It says view full archives, and you'll have all 100 and what is it now? 142 episodes of this show just listed out there for you to go back and listen to. Okay. Then we moved into stage four, which is traffic building. Now, traffic, we were setting up syndication, building up our social media profiles. We talked about videos and we talked about podcasting and uh content calendars and guest posting and all these things that was all under the category of building our traffic. And then now, right now, we are actually in the middle of stage five, which I call delivery. Essentially, this is the money-making side of the business. This is where we're setting up what bloggers would often call monetization. But I call it delivery for a very specific reason, and that is because 
That's how money gets made is by delivering a solution to somebody who wants it. Delivering something or some product or some service to a group of people who are asking for it. And that's why instead of calling it monetization or making money or all that and focusing on the outcome of the delivery, I just get to the point and I call it delivery. That's what you're del- you're actually doing. You're delivering a solution. And so for the last many episodes of Coffee Break Blogging, we've been talking about various aspects of delivery. Uh, I'm going back in my list. It looks like we started stage five back in episode 109, talking about why banner advertising is the dumbest way to monetize your blog. And we've gone on from there. So here we are over 30 episodes later, and we're still in stage five currently talking about all these various aspects of delivery. And as we go into 2016, we are going to take up from there. We're going to be going over other topics related to delivery, sales funnels, offers, conversions, uh, making sales. And that's what we're going to continue to talk about here in 2016. Um, And then we're going to move on into stage six and seven. Now, stage six is growth. This is where you have a business where, with a proven concept, but now we're in the growth phase where we're doing things like tweaking our traffic, uh, our incoming traffic sources, uh, tweaking our conversions, making our offers better, creating more offers, and delivering our transformation to people in a more efficient way. So this is things where we're going back and we're making things better, improving the way things operate. And then stage seven is expansion. This is where we're moving out beyond a solo thing and we're turning going into the territory of quote unquote real business <laughs> where we start systematizing things we start hiring virtual assistants and potentially even employees if you want to go that route we start looking at affiliates and joint ventures and we start just making a bigger operation so those are stages six and seven and yes we are definitely going to be getting there as well here with coffee break blogging so again, today we're at stage five, and starting in 2016, we're going to continue on stage five and then get into six and seven. Now, I want to address the idea of what's coming up with Coffee Break blogging. I've had a few people ask, what's going to happen when you get to the end of the seven stages? And so let's talk about that a little bit here. Um, as I did last year, at the, at the end of uh, 2014, I sat down and I planned out all the episodes of this podcast for the entire year in advance. Now, there's been a few shifts along the way, but generally speaking, I held pretty close to that schedule. Now, I intend to do the exact same thing this time around. So uh, I've got a couple of weeks uh, on the calendar here before uh, 2016 rolls in, and I also have the very beginning of 2016 to do this. But I'm going to be sitting down and pre-planning a good chunk of this show all the way through the end of 2016. It really helps me not only make sure that there's uh, some method <laughs> to how I do this show, but it also makes it makes it easier for me to uh, to actually create them because then it's kind of like what I talked about in the last episode where I talked about separating your decision making from your execution. Well, this is my way of doing that with regard to my podcast. I sit down and I make all the decisions about what I'm going to be talking about in advance and then it's just a matter of sitting down and hitting the record button and going. And also, by the way, I never do edits on these things. I mean, my VA tacks the intros on and stuff for me, but these are one take deal. So even if I flub, you're listening to me flub. I, I don't go back and, and, and edit things out, okay? I don't know how other people do it. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be planning out 2016 in advance. There could be some audio changes to the podcast. I'm going to continue essentially doing the same basic thing, but I might make some changes to the, um, to, to the audio at the beginning and on the end, the intro and the outro, so to speak. Um, could be a few little logistical changes in that regard to kind of update it. Uh, we're like I said, we're going to continue through stage five and then go right into growth uh, to the growth phase and stage six and then the expansion phase, stage seven. Now, to those of you who have asked, what am I going to do after that? Well, does business ever end? Does business ever end? Um, no, it really doesn't. 
business is never really done. And I don't intend for Coffee Break to stop either. Uh, we're going to continue doing audio lessons even after stage seven, because even if we go back to stages one through seven, there are inevitably, and I already know of many, of topics that I could easily talk about that are relevant to stages one through seven that were not on the initial plan. And so that's a big part of what we're going to be doing is going back uh, and putting in updates and um, and giving additional applicable information that will be ready for you at the various stages. And perhaps what we'll do is we'll um, I'll specify in there what stage it belongs in. But business never stops. I mean, we're always growing, and that's the way Coffee, Block is, coffee Break is going to be doing as well. Now, the other thing I'll mention is that I, I also may open up this uh, podcast to guests. Now, I know what I said about not doing interviews uh, in the outset, but as we move into the, a different phase of Coffee Break blogging, it might make sense to begin doing guest appearances again, start having people on and, and we'll, we'll have conversations with people on various topics. Now, again, I am a big believer in not copying everybody else. So the last thing that I want to do is, is sit around and try to act like John Lee Dumas and ask the same questions, you know, to each person, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not interested in going there. He, he's got a great thing going on. John is a great dude. It's just not what I want to do with my podcast. Um, and so if I have guests come on, it's going to be different. It's going to be David style. Um, I, we're, we're going to more have a conversation and it's going to be about particular topics. It's not going to be about floating the guests, um, t- you know, ego or promoting their business or anything like that. Okay. Um, although we'll do that a little bit, but I want to, it's, it's going to be more about bringing on other expertise because I do not pretend to know everything. Uh, and there are other topics that where other people would just be better equipped to talk about than me, uh, because they've got more experience with it. And so we're going to have them on and we could talk about other things that we've already spoken about here on coffee break blogging, but do it with a, with two people, rather than just me. Okay. So that's kind of where we're heading here with coffee break in the year 2016. It's gonna be a lot of episodes coming up because we're still doing two a week. Uh, that's a schedule that as of now, I still intend to keep and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think there's going to be a lot for you to look forward to, um, in 2016 with this podcast. Now I'm going to end off with one request of you. Now, if you've been listening to the show for a while and, and you have been getting value out of this podcast, I would I would request for you to do one thing for me right now. I know that I always request for you to go to iTunes and do a review for me and stuff like that, which I would be, of course, very appreciative of you doing. But right now, with regard to everything that I just said, I would like for you to answer a single question for me. That question is, how can I best serve you on this podcast? That's what I want to know. I want to find out what you need and want from me specifically as a listener of this podcast. Okay. As you know, this podcast will continue to be a free resource for you. I hope that you will listen to it regularly and I want to deliver as best as I can. And so answer the question for me. How can I best serve you on this podcast? And I want you to email me your answer at david at blogmarketingacademy.com. Nice and simple. Just open up an email and let me know. It, it, it could be a one-sentence deal. You don't have to type out a paragraph. Just let me know your answer. How can I best serve you on this podcast? And email me at david at blogmarketingacademy.com. Like just as soon as you hit the, 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 the stop button on this podcast, do it. Even if you're on your phone, you've got an email on your phone, okay? Open up your program Enter in david at blogmarkingacademy.com and send me your answer to that question. Okay, with that in mind, I've enjoyed talking with you in the year 2015, and I will see you in 2016 as we kick off moving along on stage five here with Coffee Break Blogging. I'll see you then. Have a really great Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks for listening to this episode of Coffee Break Blogging. If you like what you heard here today, we have something awesome we'd love to send you. It's called the Blog Conversion Guide, and it has nine tweaks you can make to your blog in order to increase your conversion rate to get more opt-ins and sales. As one of our listeners, we'd love to give you access to this guide absolutely free. You can get your copy right now by going to coffeebreakblogging.com. Again, go to coffeebreakblogging.com to get your copy, and we'll see you next time.